They were impotent folk, blind and halt and withered, waiting for the moving of the water at the pool of Bethesda. There was a withering people waiting for God, waiting for hope, waiting for help. And Jesus doesn't go to the religious crowd. He goes to the human need. And he sees a man that's been there for 38 years, withered and impotent. And he said, will thou be made whole? And the man gets up. Jesus said, rise and walk. And that impotent man stood and reaped and praised the Lord. You know, I learned it the hard way during the hippie revolution. When all those long-haired hippies start getting saved, I was in youth crusades, and sometimes I'd have a thousand, two thousand in my meetings, and they were barefooted. They came with their filthy Levi's all split up, long hair. Some of them hadn't bathed in weeks. We judge people by their appearances. Man looks on that with appearance, but God looks on the heart. For the Son of Man has not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Brother, sister, that should be the burden of this church. He said, the hour is coming when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they which hear shall live. Five thousand in one day. A great revival is coming to Israel. And that's the message. That's the heart of my message tonight. God is going to send a great revival to New York. He's sending a revival to this church. It's already begun. And you're going to hear of whole families being saved. You're going to hear of young people by the hundreds coming to Christ, college students. You're going to hear of people lining up trying to get in the house of God and the glory filling the house. You're going to hear people slain in the Spirit of God through the preaching of the Word. You're going to hear and see of signs and wonders and miracles and marvel at it and have no part in it because of a murmuring spirit. Well, everybody else is going around disheartening people and complaining and murmuring. Caleb stands up before the people. He said, I want no part of this. I don't want any part of that. I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to take it to God. And God's going to have a people who tear their clothes, so to speak, in sackcloth and say, Lord, I'm going to walk softly before you. I'm going to be careful what I say. Circumcise my lips, O God. Believe the Lord to answer prayer. Speak the word of faith. Hallelujah. None that provoke me shall see the good land but my servant Caleb, because he had another the Spirit with him. Him will I bring into the land, and his children shall inherit it. Hallelujah. Father, do that for me. Do it for all of us in leadership, so that this church can move on now to the fullness of the Holy Ghost. Lord, sanctify your church. 